Hello and welcome to a video on geometry brought to you by the Answer Series. In this video, we will continue looking at similarity. Question 1.1 asks you to prove the theorem that if two triangles are equiangular, then their corresponding sides are in proportion. Now when you see a theorem in geometry, you know that in the question that follows, you will need to use that particular theorem. So the fact that they've asked you a similarity theorem here means that you will need to use similarity in the next problem, even if they don't specifically ask you to do it. In 1.2, read the words carefully. You've been given the center of a circle, you've been given a tangent, and you've been given a perpendicular line. So you need to remember all the things that you know about the center of a circle and the things you know about a tangent and make sure you use those in this question. What I want you to do is I want you to pause the video. I want you to try this yourself and then we will do it together. The first question they ask you is to prove that DGFO is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now remember there are three ways to prove that a quadrilateral is cyclic. You can either prove that the opposite angles are supplementary, or you can prove that an exterior angle is equal to an interior opposite angle, or you can work with angles in the same segment. You need to find one of those. They've told you that O is the center. So DE is a diameter. That means that angle DGE is 90 degrees. So angle DGE is 90 degrees. They gave you that angle DOF is 90 degrees. So angle DOF plus angle DGF is 180 degrees. And there you have opposite angles supplementary. So that means that DGFO is a cyclic quadrilateral. Your reason is opposite angles of a quadrilateral are supplementary or converse of the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. Now you need to be very careful. If you want to prove that something is cyclic and you use the word cyclic in your reason, you have to have the word converse with it. In the next question, they ask you to prove that GC is equal to CF. In other words, you want to prove that this is an isosceles triangle. So you want to prove that these two angles are equal. I know that angle FGC is an angle between a tangent and a chord. So go on either side of the chord, go up to the circumference, and you get that angle FGC is equal to angle D because of the tan chord theorem. But you have that this quadrilateral is cyclic. You've proved it. So angle D is equal to angle F1 because of exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral. And if angle FGC equals angle D, but angle D equals angle F1, it means that angle FGC is equal to F1. And because those two angles are equal, it means that GC is equal to CF because they are sides opposite equal angles. In the next question, they give you that CO is 11 units and DE is 14 units. Now DE is a diameter. So if DE is 14 units, it means that AB, which is also a diameter, is also 14 units, which means that OB, which is a radius, is 7 units. OC is 11, OB is 7, which means that BC must be 4 units. In the next question, they ask you to find the length of CG. 
This is worth five marks, so we need to do a little bit of work with it. And the fact that they asked you similar triangles in question 1.1 is a clue here that you need to use similarity. We are going to use triangle C, G, B and triangle C, A, G. So those are the two triangles we're going to prove similarity in. The first one, angle C is common. The second one, angle G1 and angle A are equal because of tan chord theorem. I've got two angles equal, which means my triangles are similar because of angle, angle, angle. Once you've proved similar triangles, get your ratios. So CG over CA equals CB over CG equals GB over AG. Use the two ratios that you want to enable you to get the length of CG. So you get that CG squared is equal to CA times CB. Now CA consists of a diameter plus BC. The diameter is 14 and BC is 4. And there's BC again, which is 4. And I get that CG squared is 72, which means that CG is 8,49 units. The last question asks you to calculate the size of angle E. Angle E is in a right angle triangle. And what I can do to get the size of angle E is I can say that the tan of that angle is equal to the opposite side OF over the adjacent side OE. So tan of angle E is OF over OE. Now you've worked out in the previous question that GC is root 72. In an earlier question, you proved that GC and CF were equal, so CF is also root 72. You know that this whole line is 11, CF is root 72, so OF is going to be 11 minus root 72. OE is a radius of the circle, so OE is 7. So the tan of angle E is OF over OE, which means you can work out angle E is 19,76. Now be careful, it is best to only round off at the end. So work with your full display on your calculator. Example number two. Again, look at the critical words in this example and then pause the video and try this one yourself and then we will do it together. The first question asks you to prove that F, B, D, M is a cyclic quadrilateral. You've been given that angle M2 is 90 degrees. You know that D, E is a diameter which means angle DBE is also going to be equal to 90 degrees. And you've got that angle M2 is equal to angle B2, which means FBDM is a cyclic quadrilateral because of converse of exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral. And notice again, I've used cyclic in my reason, which means I must have the word converse in that reason as well. In this question, you are asked to prove that angle B3 is equal to angle F1. Now angle B3 is an angle between a tangent and a chord. So go from either side of the chord up to the circumference of the circle. So angle B3 is equal to angle D2 because of the tan chord theorem. You've just proved that DMFB is a cyclic quadrilateral. Angle D2 is equal to angle F1 because of exterior angle 
of the cyclic quadrilateral. And there you've got that angle B3 is equal to angle F1. The next question asks you to prove that triangle CDB is similar to triangle CBE. So those are the two triangles you're wanting to prove similar. Angle C is common. Angle B1 is equal to angle E because of the tan chord theorem. So therefore you have the two triangles similar angle, angle, angle. Whenever you prove two triangles similar and you've got questions that follow, write the ratios down. So CD over BC is equal to BC over CE is equal to DB over BE. So there are my ratios. Have a look at what sides you've been given. You've been given that CD is 2. You've been given that DE is 6. So in place of CD, we'll go 2. CE is equal to CD plus DE. And you can solve for BC, and you get that BC is equal to 4 units. In the next question, again, I'm going to use the ratios from before, but this time I'm going to use two different pairs. So you know so far that that's 2, that is 6, and you've worked out that BC is 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the ratio CD over BC equals DB over BE. I know that CD is 2, and I know that BC is 4. So my ratio is 2 over 4, or a half. So DB over BE is equal to a half, which means that BE is twice DB. So what I can do is I can say let DB be x, and let BE be 2x. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to work in triangle DBE. Remember I've proved already that angle B2 is 90 degrees because of angle in a semicircle. So I use Pythagoras in that triangle, and I get x squared plus 2x squared equals 6 squared, and I then solve for x. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from The Answer Series, your key to exam success.